I really think that the world is changing. And unless we do something together, I don't think as much as I am optimistic, and I am, the future is so bright. Yes, the last 60 years were amazing, amazing. We were very, very lucky to be born into the last 60 years. But whether the next 60 years are going to be as amazing, in order for that to happen, we'll need to work really, really hard, and we need to do it together. And you could have seen yesterday a riot here in the US, smashing banks and so on. It's just really the sign. We woke up one day to discover that we, as well, lost um, trust, and it's not there anymore. So what we found out, what it means is actually that we have to prove that we mean good. So and what we see actually more and more newspapers around the world and people asking us, um, are we using, are we abusing our power? We are powerful. So are we abusing our power? Are we too big? And the fact that we merge companies and we want to be more efficient, maybe we are much too big, much too powerful. How do we employ? Um, what are the conditions that we employ? We are asked all oh, those questions. Actually, what it means that people don't trust us. That's the reason why there is a question mark um, uh, behind each one of those sentences. So we have to prove that we seek good every day and in every action that we do. It's not a given anymore. We are a food company. Um, we are international, we operate in 17 countries, but our home base is in Israel. And usually when we companies talk about home base is where we started, where we are strong, where we are unknown, and that's where Israel is uh, for us. We have strategic partners, really, from all around the world, French, American, um, Chinese, um, and they all use with us the same brand name. We thought we were good in every way possible, corporate governance, all those great words, we really thought we are a good company. But um, I don't know if in some of the videos that you saw in Israel, the social uh, protests are really strong among, I think, a million people marched on the street against what they really believed are the issues in Israel. Inequality is definitely one of them. And what inequality is a nice word, the hate of the rich people is something that emerges. And it doesn't matter how good or not good you think you are. It was Friday afternoon, I got a phone call from the television and they asked me, do you know that those tents moved uh, to be in front of your house? I said, no, it was Friday afternoon. I was with my, as you can see, with my shorts. I walked out and I saw those protesters in front of my house. We are a small country, everyone knows where everyone lives. And uh, I actually spent seven hours with, um, with the protesters and to hear what do they have to say about our company. They were oppressed, upset with the pricing. They actually accuse us that we charge high prices for our product because we are very strong. To be a branded company, reputation is the only thing that matters on the long term. And that definitely was hurt. So to regain that trust will be a very long journey. So you can work very hard for 70 years to gain this trust, and you can lose it in one second. One thing for sure, to restore, restore the trust. We cannot stay as we are. We have to change something in our leadership. And as uh, we heard this morning, it's not the company that should change. It's us, or it is me. I have to say, I, at one point I said, well, I didn't know that um, the middle class is suffering. So someone told me, if you didn't know, don't sit on this chair. So I didn't know or I didn't understand is not relevant, OK? If we want to sit on the seats that we are sitting on, we need to learn some things. One of the things, which is really uh, simple, I think at least, is to really go back to basics. You know those, the story I told you 
about my grandparents, what I did, I went to the founder's house, which is where my grandparents used to live, and we keep this house, and I just listened again to the story of how they started. You know, a lot of the things, and almost every business has those stories, are there. Some of the answers are really way, way, way back in the way we started our businesses. We don't need to look very far. It is there it's going back to basic we have to remember that when we talk about responsibility it's not all those things that we talk about it actually has faces and globalization actually means that our responsibility really um, has no boundaries things that we do in one country will affect the the um, nature in different countries we affect actually different religions we we do impact the world and that's what the globalization actually means we impact but so do our mistakes and we did few and we see the results we have to start to talk with and not talk to because as much as we think that we have a dialogue we don't okay i'm sure you do but i can tell you one thing we in strauss something we missed something we don't have all the know-how. We don't know, not one person and not a company and not even few companies. In order to really make an ethical decision, we really need to evaluate and value what the other, what everyone else has to say. It has, it has to be a different dialogue. No way we can embark on an ethical leadership uh, a way or route without really understanding that we don't have all the know-how and we need to start to talk with in order to get to this ethical decision people have really great perspectives that we cannot really see by ourselves and it goes back to basics it's about really understanding that everyone Counts. Many companies might say that the provision of healthcare or education is not the role of the corporation. So how do you go about defining you know, your role in obesity or health or education and, and setting those boundaries for your corporation? As I said with this film, it's really about new way of listening. Um, and not to talk as much, and I felt anyhow I talked now too much, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it is about listening and trial and error, but there is no patient outside. So we'll have to give more in order to really measure, not less. Because um, I think as a whole, a better society means good businesses. When the societies are not good, there are no uh, good businesses. But good businesses are crucial for a healthy society. We have a very important role to play, and definitely the type of businesses that are here, um, which are really the best in class. Yeah, we have to step up and to do things that we didn't think we need to do before.